A big piece of local news today for the Minnesota Air National Guard. The 133rd Airlift Wing will be getting eight of those C-130J Super Hercules cargo planes. Big name, well, it's a big plane. And as John Croman reports, it took years of, get this, bipartisan teamwork by our Congress members to get this deal. You are the best and the brightest, and that's why it was easy to fight for you. In a big hangar at Fort Snelling, a celebration of a heavy lift. Money secured from Washington's purse strings to modernize a fleet of the National Guard's 133rd Airlift Wing. The arrival of these new C-130Js is a sign of our nation's continued commitment to the Minnesota National Guard. They can hold more, they can go farther, they can go faster. The 133rd has been getting the most out of those C-130Hs, but they date the mid-90s, and a lot has changed since then in military aviation. These new aircraft will be critical to our national security and to our capacity to respond to natural disasters and other urgent needs. Minnesota's CODEL, that's the military lingo for congressional delegation, has been coming here for years, learning about the mission and then going back to D.C., working to convince the Department of Defense that the 133rd should get to replace their eight planes with the newer, bigger C-130J models, known as the Super Hercules. It's 15 feet longer. I can carry 128 people as opposed to 90 people. It can carry 92 paratroopers as opposed to the old 65. Now keep in mind these J's cost $116 million each, and the military budget will only support so many planes. Failure to win this competition would jeopardize the 133rd's future and the 1,200 full and part-time jobs here. When we learned that we might be at risk, uh, you know, we really amplified what it is that the 133rd does. Personnel readiness, the maintenance readiness, the deployability, the medical readiness. Big part of the pitch being located next to this airport. When you can have a viable flying unit in a major airline hub here, you have a breeding ground for pilots. It'll probably be a couple of years before we see one of these C-130J model Super Hercules aircraft here on the base, but this is a milestone moment because this money means that the 133rd will continue flying. They won't be relegated to some mission that doesn't involve aircraft. At Fort Snelling, John Croman, CARE 11 News. Big news for our guard for sure. The other guard units in the country getting those models of planes, Hartford, Connecticut, Peoria, Illinois, and Great Falls, Montana.